beautiful souls. I'm back. I was alive, and then I was having some coughing issues, which could be allergies. Or like many, I've been getting over a cold lately. So anyway, I'm glad to be back, and I went and got some tea for my throat in my Busy Bee mug. So, um, hopefully that helps. Anyway, I wanted to pop in with some animal wisdom for the week. Also, a little bit of exciting news. Next Sunday, so a week from today, I'll be doing another live Reclaim Your Power event. You should be able to find the link here somewhere in the comments. If not, please message me. I'd love to have you attend, even if you've attended an event before. Each one's a little bit different. Um, I co go back and tweak things a bit, uh, changing out my visualization a bit that I'm doing this week, or I should say a week from today. So it's always, you know, just a little bit different here, there, or wherever. And if you've even been there before, I'd love to have you join me again because... The exciting news is that I'm launching, finally, a group program that I've been wanting to launch for years. This is a cu an accumulation of about two decades of work between working with clients, uh, helping them get unstuck as quickly as possible in their life, get on track, and get moving in the direction of their dreams, and combining that with the narcissistic relationship recovery, putting it together for quick results and moving forward, you know, with support and healing and the right tools. I've been divorced twice to narcissists, so I know what it's like. I'm chuckling just because it's so horrible and so insidious. That's why I'm here promoting it. So anyway, I wanted to mention that I'm going to be launching that at next Sunday's event. So do save your spot on the link in the comments. Uh, you can also check out my banner. The link is in the banner as well. And um, anyway, I would love to have you join me. Do a few little exercises, some journaling, like I say, visualization to help you on your healing journey and also to learn about this new program. I'm really excited about it. So I want to get back to the cards, the animal wisdom cards that I'd started pulling when I started coughing. Better drink my tea. Anyway, so the card that I had pulled was the rat. Um, I'm going to pull a few more, but we start with the rat, which says, be true to yourself and the universe will reward you. Be true to yourself because that's how we really stand in our power. That's how we really live our purpose. And part of what I teach is how to reconnect with yourself when you've become disconnected, particularly from a relationship with a narcissist, because the gaslighting, the manipulation, the devaluing, the back and forth, love bombing, put downs, whatever, it's enough to just rip us out of you know, who we are, disconnect from ourselves, and then it becomes this huge struggle. So... <coughs> <clears throat> getting back to the rat, excuse me. Hopefully I can keep it together. Like I said, I've been getting over a cold and there's the wind's been blowing, so there's some allergies going on. A lot of juniper up here in the mountains. So the rat card reminds you that when you are acting with the best and noblest intentions, you may still be misunderstood. In extreme cases, you may even be persecuted. Mm. Let's think about the rat. How the rat is persecuted. There will always be those who want to put 
all right want to put out the light of others your guidance is to let no one diminish you now let's pause for a second let's think about the narcissist the narcissist diminishing you so that they can feel better about themselves that's part of their manipulation manipulation um so don't let them diminish you go no contact i know it's hard it's necessary to break the bond instead remain true to your per true purpose your pure purpose by the way and hold your vision like a bright flame do your best at all times and only take on that which you can handle in other words don't overdo it um we empaths have a tendency to be people pleasers don't we and we can go beyond what we can handle <laughs> and check internally that you are taking responsibility for your actions then relax and know that your life mission will eventually be recognized and you will receive your just reward so taking responsibility that's an interesting word isn't it um your life mission we can't know what our life mission is if we're disconnected with who we are which is part of what i talk about at my live event and part of what i also cover in my program so we need to really become connected with who we are know who we are be true to who we are <laughs> and we will live a much happier life when we do that so i'm going to pull another card and see what the wisdom is next this one's popping out the dove spread messages of peace and harmony now archangel bulk p bulk pie not sure which way that goes but anyway spreading messages of peace and harmony now what comes to mind with that especially with the narcissist is that it's easy for us to get caught up in bitterness anger um and that's not peace and harmony is it but the bitterness and the anger is you know rightfully a reaction to what we've been through the problem is it drags us down it keeps pulling us down away from the beautiful soul that we are the beautiful soul that you are and you know then we have love and fear which are opposites so you don't want to get caught up in fear fear is the void whether we're afraid of the narcissist afraid of our power or whatever we're afraid of we need to come out of fear and go into love and into that peace and harmony and this is why i'm a huge proponent of guided meditation which i take people through we're going to be doing some at the event we're going to be doing it in the program because it brings peace and harmony back to ourselves it helps us to get out of our head and into our heart and heal and feel that balance again that's within ourselves so let's dive in more into the messages around the dove so your guidance is to take deep breaths <laughs> That's what we do in guided meditation. We start with deep breaths and center yourself on the out breath until you can feel calm and tranquil. Fill the cells of your body with pure peace. 
And I'll be doing that at the event. And in all my meditations, I help you to fill the cells of your mind, of your body, with healing light. Hold out your hand and imagine a gentle white dove landing on it. Why? Because our, imagine, our imagination is where our power is. If you're working with someone with the narcissistic abuse recovery and you're not using your imagination, you're missing out on using the most powerful part of your mind, body, heart, and soul. So as you imagine the dove landing on your hand, listen to its soft coo and allow it to open you up to a serene and loving way of being. Let your energy fields glow with peace and harmony. Think of people and situations in your life that will benefit from your light and visualize them being bathed in it. Plant new seeds of kindness, love, cooperation, or whatever is most needed for the highest good. Notice what changes occur when your energy field contain fields, I should say, contain the keys and codes of peace and harmony. You become a catalyst for transformation wherever you go. So again, we're looking at the opposite of how we want to feel of the trap that we fall into from a relationship with a narcissist, of being angry, of being bitter, of having resentment, all that negative vibe that we feel. And it's like, it's like a snowball effect, isn't it? We attract what we focus on. So we keep having this anger or whatever, and it just snowballs. And we feel worse and worse, and we're putting it out there into the world. That's why I also incorporate energy healing. We have to heal that energy. It's like the narcissist, you know, projects their negative energy towards us. And, you know, it's like it gets stuck in our field. The trauma that they've experienced, the anger that they have. <laughs> excuse me, towards whatever experience they had in the past that they still haven't healed gets project, projected on us. And now we have to heal their stuff that they've thrown our way. So again, we need to get back to peace and harmony and heal and release the negativity. As hard as that is, I know. But that's what makes it so important. Because I believe that through all the self-healing that I want to achieve in the world, by helping to guide others through healing themselves from narcissistic relationships, that we can help end narcissistic abuse in our culture. But we have to do it at home, in ourselves, that is. We can't heal the narcissist. It's not going to happen. But when we stop tolerating, and we go no contact, and we start the healing process, then changes will start happening across the globe. I'm going to pull one more card. Like I said, my throat's acting weird and I'm kind of losing losing the ability to talk. Um, elephant. This has come up so much, it's not even funny. I think last week, the week before, or whatever, I've been pulling these cards. And it says, open yourself to true abundance. We certainly, from narcissistic relationships... 
become drained, right? We become energetically drained. We are their supply until they move on to the next supply. When we become drained and our energy is drained, it drains our sense of abundance, right? We become, we go into a state of lack. And part of that lack is a lack of self-love. It's a lack of self-worth. Uh, there's so much lack there. And lack is the opposite of abundance. And so elephants are certainly, they embody love. They remember each other. They communicate with each other. They take care of each other. And we have to take care of ourselves, don't we? So we need to open ourselves to abundance. Let that energy in. Start even by, you know, getting out in nature. Um, there's abundance in nature. You know, the trees aren't saying, I can't grow any more leaves because there's not enough abundance in the world. You know, the birds aren't worried about whether there's going to be enough seeds or nectar or whatever. Nature is living in abundance. And so, we need to get back to abundance after a relationship with a narcissist after we've been drained when when our when we're in our state of lack when we lack money this is an issue i run into so often with women who have been in narcissistic relationships it just seems to be an inherent problem a lot of times not 100 percent of the time sometimes women are on disability because of the abuse or they've can't work because they're too traumatized. They can't even focus. The narcissist has drained them financially. Been there, done that. I say these things because I understand. And I've talked to so many women who've been through it. So it's time to bring back the abundance in your life. Um... Let's go back to the elephant and more info on the elephant. It reminds you to keep your frequency high by having more fun. What was I saying about getting out in nature? Having more fun, playing and being joyful, which by the way, when I do a free call, which you can also book a free call with me, if you go to clearlyblissful.com, that's clearlyblissful.com, on the home page you will see, you can click on the banner to book a call with me. When I talk to women and we get on these calls, nine times out of ten, they're just not having fun. <laughs> they're not playing, they're not being joyful. Although I do believe we need to do some healing, which will start resulting in fun. But it goes on to say, whether you are male or female, practice divine feminine qualities. That's certainly happening in our world. The divine feminine energy is rising. Within every area of your life, to ensure you have a strong and stable foundation for your spiritual life. Sit quietly and breathe into your third eye. Now that's here. <coughs> Tuning into the elephant kingdom. And Archangel Raphael, the awesome emerald angel of healing. And it's interesting that it's emerald, right? Because green, money, Leaves, grass, nature. It's a great color of abundance. Then link into Jupiter and its ascended aspect. Jumbe to call in perfect health 
and cosmic abundance to bathe your consciousness. But the point is, you really want to feel that abundance coming into your life, coming into your body. So join me on next Sunday, the 27th, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Now, we in the U.S. have not changed our clocks yet. I don't know in your country where you are if you've moved your clocks back. So you want to check on the time, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, and just make sure you've got the time right. Because I had people, you know, trying to jump into a live event like two or three hours later after it's over. And I feel bad for them because they've missed out and I would love to have them join us. So do check your times and make sure. And make sure you sign up so you get this Zoom link. And again, the sign-ups in the comments. Um, or you can check my events page at clearlyblissful.com. Go to the events. And you can click on the banner there and find the link. So anyway, elephant, dove, rat. I think these three are very powerful messages of healing self-love, abundance, being yourself. Let's talk about that some more on the webinar and dive into it a little deeper. So again, I'd love to see you there. My apologies for my scratchy allergy crawled voice right now. <laughs> but I made it through. I'm back. I had a nice visit with family on the east coast and um anyway would love to connect with you my soul family out there in the world if you feel called to this and would like to also know more about the program that's launching i can't wait to share it with you it's a labor of love so anyway thank you for tuning in and I can't wait to see you a week from today. And I hope you have an awesome week. Uh, I'll be posting this to YouTube as well. So see you again soon. And take care of you. Love yourself. Get out in nature. Feel the abundance in the world. And see you then. Bye for now. <laughs>